So I decided I wanted to try steam bending wood. Um, I saw some videos on YouTube and uh, I saw one guy use what looked like a steaming bag of some kind. I think in the end it was a pipe after all. But anyways, I thought, okay, I'll, I'll give it a quick try. Just take a, a trash bag and connect it to something that uh, sits on top of a simple pot on the stove. And, uh, well, you can see the results already. I used plastic because, um, well, I thought that would not lose its shape, but it did. It's quite deformed. Anyways, uh, the best I could do is is this much of a bend uh, using this form here and uh, as you can tell I still got quite a ways to go so in the end I guess to do a proper job you have to have the proper tools so I'm building a uh, steam box um, some old wood that I had lying around or I picked up from my dad actually which he didn't need anymore so this is 1 meter 20 long I don't intend to bend anything longer and um, I don't even know what this is, uh, pine maybe, and uh, some plywood on the sides that I had left. And uh, another tip I got from somebody at YouTube is to put dowels in here so that the wood can uh, sit on top of it and the steam can also go under it. So that was a good tip. Uh, got the hole in here already for the steam to go through. And um, I know I've always seen people use tubes uh, to transport the steam. I don't know why, because, well, why not just do it directly? Because I don't have any kind of heat source outside of my, my stove. I don't have a cooker or a, um, a hot plate sitting around anywhere. And... Um, so I'm just going to put this on the stove, put it on top, and then screw this plate on here. So that the steam will go through that hole and right into the box. No detours through hoses for me. So when it's all put together, um, I have a lid for one side, goes on just like that, and uh, this end will be covered by that piece, just a block of wood, goes on like this. And we'll see what the results are like. So this is the first test run of the steam box. And uh, it took about 10 minutes to heat it up to 95 degrees Celsius. And uh, there's a piece of wood in there that I'm going to keep in there for a little less than one hour. And uh, well, let's see. So here's the result of the wood bending. As you can tell, it did not uh, stay in the shape completely. I did in fact not bend it down all the way, so there was a bit of spring back, but I'm happy with the result. I did get the bend that I wanted, the amount of bend, and uh, it's just a test piece. So it worked all right. Look at it from this angle again.